Hey there, I'm Daniel from Clockwork Origins and today we will have a look at the new Elemental War 2 update. Uh, update 1.1, you can see it here. Um, also referred to as the game mode update. And as you can see, you can now select the game mode in the uh, start game menu. We have a new endless mode, which is basically the same as the normal mode. You can see here. Um, but it does not end. At least not until you lost all lives. So gameplay wise it is um, similar for the first 80 waves. But uh, once you defeated all monsters in, um, at the end of wave 80. Um, the next elemental will spawn. You get a new item, you get a new element and you can continue playing. As long as you have um, any lives left. So that's the big difference here. And on top we also added new weekly challenges. So um, every week you get a new challenge that is most of the time pretty hard to complete. You can have a look in the current configuration. So that one started on uh, Monday and ends on Sunday. Um, yeah, it's a normal mode. It starts at wave 30. It plays on the map graveyard. Difficulty level is set to expert. Um, elements can be chosen. So um, the game can or the challenge can also force you to a specific configuration of elements. So you can't um, choose your own. You start with just 10 lives. There will be no treasures on the map. Only fast monsters will spawn. And um, yeah, the game speed. You can't pause the game, so yeah, these are the limitations. And we can have a quick look into it. I probably won't be that good. But then I can also show you the last mentionable feature. So, we are on the map here. Oh, I can't pause. Let's good idea. So we start with um, a lot of gold because we are starting at wave um, 30 of course. So we can place a tower here and here. Ah, and we have fire, electricity and shadow. That's actually not the worst combination. I think. Uh, wait a second. Okay. So, um, yeah, thirty-four thousand is not enough for the giant crab, but you can slightly nerf it. So, and <clears throat> the last feature, when I rotate the camera at the moment, the minimap is static, so it always points to the north, but there was a request from some players that the camera should align with where you look at. That's because some maps are inverted and the start portal is in the south, uh, but in the north. EG on the kingdom map is uh, that's the case, or on some other map as well. I uh, don't know it at the moment. And now the yeah the start direction in which you look is the one where the portal is. Okay, that worked out. It's actually good. Then yeah, I mean we can actually play that run so we'll see how the challenge evolves and I can also give you a quick overview over the you see the um, pause button is disabled and I can also show you the 
leaderboard entries and tell you how they work. Of course, I'm the number one rank at the moment in this challenge. Because the update isn't released yet. Ah, ah, I can't pause. I always forget that I can't... I forget that I can't pause. So. Ah, that's... Mm, yeah, okay. yeah. So, ah, we also have that one. That's not good. Okay. Also not bad. Then let's build some towers. Um, we can build... No! Too bad. So that was shadow. Uh, not that helpful. Oh, black door. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, not the worst run I had. But we still have just 8 lives left. Out. So, Balrog, that's very good. And I can build the Taxman on level 3. Oh, and I can also upgrade that one. Yes! So, then I'll give that one to you and upgrade. Yes, 300,000 damage, that's very good. I will stay on random elements. Nature isn't really helpful at the moment. Ah, but I can build the clock tower, so it's not too bad. OK, 
Okay, it's almost too easy at the moment. Chance for double damage, well... I will take it! So the update is going to release today, so I'm currently um, yeah, recording this video, of course. <laughs> it will um, unlock the update process directly afterwards while uploading the video. And then write the news, the release news, or the update news. And yeah, then you should be good to play. Um, later today. Shouldn't take too long actually. The only upload missing is on Steam, but if you're playing on consoles, it should be there within an hour from now. And not uh, so when you when you see that video, you most certainly already received that thing. I can actually, or actually should, build a more, more towers. It's a little tricky here to build stuff, but it's part of the challenge. So. Electricity shadow. Can I build ah pitch tower? One of my favorites. Okay, that's not one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite effects. Close to the end. The Viper. Yeah, that's a little harder. Okay, yeah, I'm super strong. Can 
I should build I have a slot here somewhere. Yeah, that not sure the range is good enough. No, not really. But I can keep it. Okay, I, I don't think I will lose another life. Also one of my favorite towers, but it's pretty um, yeah, weak at the moment, or at this point of the game. But early in the game, it's pretty powerful. But of course, my text friend with all the upgrades or the items is the best. Okay. And that was the challenge of this week. Of course, I can uh, replay it to improve my score, as usual. So, and then, you see, the current challenge, that's my score, that's my rank. There are no medals, would have uh, disabled that line, but it's not important. And then, here, you have a scoreboard for the current challenge, uh, here. There, um, all of you will be present, hopefully, um, tonight. And then there's also the challenge ranking. So once the challenge is completed, depending on your rank in the current challenge, you will get um, a score or yeah, points, a high score, um, from 1 to 100. So rank 1 gets 100 points, and the last rank gets 1 point. And those are transferred to the um, challenge ranking. You see, I won one challenge so far. And I'm the number one rank with 100 high score. So it won't be possible to beat me this week because I will have at least 101 points after this week. And the second player can only get 100. Um, yeah, but the week after that, if I don't play the challenges, um, you will be able to beat me. Yeah, and besides that, uh, you can also toggle through the um, challenge uh, to the game modes via the G button here. I don't know what it's on the controller. Let me check. Shouldn't move the mouse while I uh, am in controller mode. Yeah, it's the left stick left. We have way too many uh, shortcuts at the moment. Yeah, so you can also see the scores here. And of course, you will see them in the start game menu. Yeah, that's all for this update. I hope you will enjoy it. Um, and I hope you will play a lot more Elemental War 2. If you have any feedback, uh, let me know. <laughs> you can join our Discord to provide your feedback. Write it uh, in the comments of this video or the Steam discussions, and um, we will check all of them. And yeah, there will be at least one more update uh, soon. We will fix a few minor issues that got reported after uh, this update entered third. Uh, that's basically stuff like um, unlocking new maps. Oh yeah, you can also play endless mode in uh, co-op, of course. And yeah, at the moment in co-op mode, you can't unlock new maps. So when you play kingdom map, 
you have to play it solo to unlock um, Ice Islands. Nee, Red Canyon is the second one. Um, and we want to make it possible to unlock new maps also in co-op mode. Currently it's bound to the high score and there is no high score in the in co-op mode. So we'll see how to handle that. But an update for that is planned and will be part of the next update among a few other minor things. Yeah, then I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and try out the new update. And yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.